Okay, the black line is the vacuum decay from last night. And as we can see, from last night, if you remember the last video, I actually, when I was heating up the hoses to get them hot, and you seen the vacuum decay rise, it was losing vacuum. I put it back on the vacuum pump, got it down to 27 microns, and then closed off the vacuum and let it decay to this morning. The only problem is, is the software stopped connection with the, the micron and I lost all my data. So somewhere around two or three o'clock in the morning, like after I left, um, I started the reading. When I finally finished and turned off the vacuum, it was midnight, just a little after midnight and i lost it but as you can see it's been running for 23 hours now between the processes of vacuum vacuum decay vacuum vacuum decay that you've seen in the, in the previous videos and we have steadied out uh since midnight and right now the time is what is it it's 11 23 a.m it's almost 12 noon so since just a little after midnight until 12 noon the next day our vacuum has risen to 1400 microns so unfortunately I can't go back in the data because the testo lost uh, connection and and basically stopped at somewhere around two or three in the morning so that's it for this um, performing any of the vacuum decay that it gives you an indicator of how it handles in small volumes in just hoses alone in a manifold not connected to anything i think i'll do a vacuum decay on a vehicle and i'll do a very long vacuum and we'll do this again uh, on a vehicle so let's get that done and you'll see the next video will be with the pumps on a car pulling a deep vacuum on a large system with the evaporator and a condenser not just hoses in real world and see how the vacuum goes down how it gradually you see the little bursts and you'll see the vacuum decay when i turn it off that'll be the next video coming up uh, as i go out and do some errands and get some work done i'll leave the vehicle on the vacuum pump that'll be the next one